absolute poverty and relative poverty. But before we talk about the terms absolute and relative, first let us understand what is poverty. Is poverty lack of money? No. Poverty is a very multidimensional term. It is not only lack of money, but it is lack of basic facilities, lack of proper sanitation, lack of proper drinking water, lack of basic health facilities, lack of education. All these constitute together to make a person poor. If he does not have any of these, he is considered as a poor person. Now, there are two ways of measuring poverty. People say that there is absolute poverty and then there is relative poverty. Now, what is absolute poverty? By the term absolute, we mean complete. So, absolute poverty is when there is lack of minimum level of subsistence that is required for your social and physical well-being or survival. When a person cannot even attain a minimum level of subsistence which is essential for his survival in society and physically also, that is called as absolute poverty. It is not related to income or consumption expenditure, but it is related to your minimum level of subsistence which is required for your existence. It is relevant for less developed countries like ours. And what is relative poverty? Relative as the term suggests. Relative means in comparison. When you compare two people, that this is relatively richer and he is relatively poor. So it is relative poverty is when you compare the income of two people. So it is more dependent or it is more related to income or your consumption expenditure. When we talk of poverty in relation to income or consumption expenditure, it is relative poverty. How do we measure this? We make different income groups and 5 to 10 percent of high level income group in that section is compared with 5 to 10 percent of low level of that income and then inequality of income is measured. For this we use Gini coefficient to measure the inequality of distribution of income. So in relative poverty, we actually measure the uh, distribution of inequality of income, that how unequal the income is distributed amongst the society. But it is more relevant in case of developed countries where people are richer and they have income. So we can compare, okay, this person is more richer, he has more income. So, and how that is not widely or evenly spread in the society in which he lives. But when we talk about our country, it is more about existence and your subsistence. People here do not have the basic facilities that are essential for their survival. So when we talk about India, we measure poverty in terms of absolute poverty. For us, it is about absolute poverty where we cannot even attain a minimum level of subsistence which is essential. People who attain that are above poverty line and people who do not even attain that minimum level are below poverty line. In India, over the past 5-6 decades, population has, uh, or the economy we can say, has grown tremendously. But the impact of that economy growth has not percolated or has not come down to all the sections of the society. There are many reasons responsible for it because of the growth of population and all. But eventually what has happened is that it has not come down to the people in the form that it should have been and that is why there is widespread poverty in our country. So now we know what absolute and relative mean. Absolute means minimum level is not um, maintained or not attained by the people and relative means where people are in comparison to others poorer. 
absolute is more prominent or more um, useful when we talk about we use this measure in case of less developed countries like ours and relative poverty is more appropriate for developed economies.